let's see if I can actually do it right now. I really want to scream, but I won't. Fuck. <clears throat> down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? Hello, this is Lucas, editor here. Uh, before the video starts, I wanted to mention a couple things. So first of all, this build is a collab with my friends Float and Dianosaur. They're both amazing builders, and I feel like you should check them out, honestly. They're one of the best builders I know. I mean, Float was the person who made the Bloxburg Zoo, one of the Bloxburg Seven Wonders, and then Diana is um, <laughs> the Queen of Castles. Um, they're both amazing at what they do, and I'm so glad I got a chance to collab with them. And, um, of course, the second thing I wanted to mention was this video wouldn't have been possible without my friend Foods. Uh, he was the one who followed me around everywhere and helped me record this video. So I would really appreciate if you not only checked out Diana and Float, but you checked them out too. And, um... <laughs> There might be a lot of cuts in the video itself because I was really tired when I was recording it. So there were a lot of uh, mistakes and just it, the video itself didn't make any sense. So I tried to make this funny and fun for you guys to watch. So I really hope you enjoy watching the video. So now I'm gonna let you watch it. <laughs> enjoy! Happy Monday everyone. Um, this time I thought I would uh, do a different tour where... Um, I'm gonna be the one talking, and you guys would just follow me around, I guess. What the hell are we gonna do now? I mean, I'm sure it would turn out amazing. Ooh. And this time, it's not even a special tour, it's a special build. Since this build is a collab with three, with two of my friends, Dianosaur and Float Roblox, and we made a uh, European Spirit City. Um, here we have Starblocks coffee, <laughs> and I tried to make it as um, accurate as possible to the uh, actual, actual Starbucks. Starbucks. Starbucks, and I don't know, I kind of like it, I, I really like the look of it. Right now we're actually near the main square where the cathedral is of the whole city. This cathedral is actually a recreation of a real life building, which is a cathedral in Lithuania, Vilnius. Uh, this is just a smaller version. The interior is kind of similar to it as well, but uh, we named this church the Church of St. Coeptus and St. Froggy. Since they're probably one of the best devs out there, they just they just do so much for the community and they work really hard to get great updates out for the game. And honestly, this was our form of appreciation for them. And going inside, so like I've mentioned before, not only is the exterior a recreation of the Vilnius Cathedral, uh, but so is the interior. Um, actually, I based this interior off pictures in real life, and to me, it looks quite okay. I know it doesn't look nearly the same as the real life thing, but this cathedral is like three times smaller, if not more. And what you saw up there was an organ, yes, a musical organ. <laughs> It's a musical instrument, instrument, not a human organ. <laughs> That's so upsetting. So now we're actually at one of the main landmarks, which is the castle. Um, now you may be wondering, why is it one of the main landmarks? Well, I guess it's self-explanatory in a way. I mean, then you wouldn't be wondering. Okay, who cares? I'm stupid. <laughs> Um, since it's so big and it overlooks the, the whole city, I thought that it might be one of the main landmarks. And this is actually the entrance uh, where you can buy your ticket, and then here are the ticket prices. And then if you would pay, I would let you in through this gate, and then you would walk all the way to the bridge. <laughs> Can you come up with something else? Can you come up with something else? Um, 
And actually, this castle is a museum. Uh, well, yeah, it kind of is a museum. So now we're going to the museum part, which is the last floor, with an observation deck, which overlooks the whole city from the old town side. Because this part, because this city itself is divided into three parts. And then up here, we have the museum, obviously. So as you can see, it's full of different things from the past. So right now we're looking at random paintings that, believe it or not, we just searched up <laughs> when we were choosing decals. We were lazy to look for some historic ones. Now we're looking at a 3D model of what the castle used to look like in this royal couch, in a way. Uh, I, I'm not sure how it's royal, but hey, let's just bear with me, okay? Um, and then we have these wooden thrones that the kings used to sit in. I mean, good for them. Um, not lag-wise, though. <laughs> I never like to go near them, because, um, yeah, it's kind of laggy. And then we have the Tinky Head, the guardian of the city. The great, great guardian. <laughs> the Tinky. Okay, I know who that is. Rip, um, things in the city? Yeah, definitely. And then we have these random masks and swords and katanas and whatnot. Um, they'll come at me if I said something wrong. I'm sorry. But you did this for what? Why not? <laughs> Why? Why not? <laughs> Why though? And now we're at, uh, on the observation deck that has glass floors where you could see the, down the downtown area right from here. You may not be able to see right now since it's dark and nighttime, but yeah, the sun is about to go up anyways, but yeah. If we would climb up here, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Two hours later. Guess who's finally back, yeah. That was an oopsie and I fell. Oops, um, so. Are you kidding me? Now I'm stuck. Bruh, this video couldn't go better, honestly. I'm stuck again. Oh my god. 346 minutes later. Last time I fell, this time I got stuck. So, um, let's see if I can actually do it right now. I really want to scream, but I won't. The next day. Hopefully I'll make it this time, but hey, it's about to turn daytime, so at least you'll be able to see the whole city if I don't fall again. I did it. Oh my god, pro, I'm a pro, Parker pro. Yeah, y'all could never. I'm kidding, though. No. I'm sure you will. My my jokes are so bad, I'm so not funny. Well, um, I guess we'll just have to uh, come see the plot yourself, which actually... We're all planning to open this plot up for you guys to roleplay in. So if any of you want to roleplay, we have places to stay at, shops to run, museums to go to, and whatnot. So there's even a court that I'll show you later on in the video. So if you would follow me down here, we could go to the other balcony, which actually shows quite a lot of the city. And yeah, you can see the downtown area all the way there, and then there's the river, and a town hall. So, yeah, this place probably has one of the prettier view, prettiest. Did I lie? Did I lie? Views, and then we have the sun rising. Right. Okay. So now we can go down to the gift shop, which is on the fourth floor. Okay, so now that we made it to uh, the gift shop itself, <laughs> um, you can see many things that you can buy here to remember this visit to the museum of the castle. And um, I added some plates, books, towels, and even postcards that you can, I don't know, maybe use in your own home. Since I uploaded decals of these uh, to my inventory, which you can access just by following me on Roblox and... Yeah, you can remember this a visit to the museum just by uh, putting the postcard or just a photograph on your fridge or your fireplace in your house. So that's really all with the gift shop. So now we're going to go down, um, yeah, to explore the rest of the city. So this side of town actually has a metro station too, where you're following me down to. And um, 
Yeah, it's like really simple. There's nothing wrong with my views or beliefs because I have freedom of speech and everything I'm saying is true. I'm trying to make it look kind of fancy looking and personally I really like it. Um, it looks decent and different <laughs> in a way. So, yeah. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so this city has ads too, and if you want to maybe advertise our city anywhere in your blog spot plots or shops or malls, you can always ask me for decal codes and I'll give them to you. Just make sure to DM me on Twitter. Hi, Editor Lucas here. So I wanted to correct myself quickly because I said something completely stupid. You don't even have to actually um, DM me to get the decal codes. You can just find them in my inventory, which is open for all of you. You just have to follow me on Roblox. Remember that. Follow me on Roblox to access my inventory. So yeah, that's it. That's how you find them. And I'll let you get back to the video right now. If you would want to, you know, hop onto a metro train, you'll have to get a ticket. You have to put it in here. And then if it works, the gate should open. <laughs> I, I have to laugh. I'm sorry. This is so ridiculous. I can't stand here. I can't sit here and hear this. And then here, um, you would see the map of the whole, of just the whole metro lines in the city. Of course, it's not completely accurate because I totally did not take this from a real life city and put it into Bloxburg. No, why would I do that? No, totally not. Okay. And then, yeah, this is a really fancy metro station. I tried to make it like look new and really luxurious in a way. And then I actually made a metro train, which you can get hop into just like that. And then, of course, it has the pretty, 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 pretty seating just the cover itself it's amazing such a cool vibe and then we have some more seating and then a beautiful honda ad no that's a toyota ad oops what does it say again living every moment of course few shops like auntie and this is not a shop this is a bakery and yeah like it's a bakery what else would you want from a bakery it just sells cookies and cupcakes and whatnot right cool cool and then that right right here we have an internet cafe which is for some reason really laggy um i still don't know why but it's cute and old just how i like it <laughs> And this is the flower shop. Folk helped me a lot with this shop and I'm really happy with it. It's really simple and cute. 